Hi, this is Todd Bono for CFSGameTime.com and Area 52, and I am here today with Mark McEwen, former newscaster, and he is also an author of After the Stroke, uh, My Journey Back. Now, you're here today at Dr. Phillips Hospital in Orlando as part of Stroke Awareness Month. Yes. Mark, tell us a little bit um, kind of what led kind of the symptoms leading um, to your stroke, and was there any kind of forewarning um, I know you had the, the misdiagnosis and then you were treated uh, for a massive stroke, which was life-threatening. Kind of walk us through a little bit. Again, a, a lot of this is in the book, but just kind of briefly walk us through um, how quickly this all happened to you. Well, uh, um, I was in Baltimore. I'm from Maryland. And uh, uh, came through the uh, metal detector and um, didn't feel quite right uh, boarding the plane. And um, went to... Uh, um, ER in the emergency room and the doctor there di diagnosed me as having the stomach flu. The uh, symptoms I had were my balance was kind of off, my dominant side, I'm right-handed, uh, was uh, didn't feel quite right and my legs didn't feel quite right. If he had said the word stroke, I wouldn't have flown, which I did two days later. And on that plane back to Orlando, I had a massive stroke. And uh, um, they brought me here to, uh, back then was Sand Lake Hospital. Now it's Dr. Phillips Hospital. But this place saved my life. And uh, um, came here and uh, um, Back in Baltimore, they didn't say word one about stroke. Here, it was the first thing they asked. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, uh, the symptoms I found out I had uh, before I had my stroke was hypertension, high blood pressure. But everyone I knew in news had high <laughs> blood pressure. I thought that was part of the whole thing. And uh, um, I was taking medication for that, but apparently it didn't do uh, as well as it should have. And I wasn't doing what I should have been doing, which is eating lots of fish and vegetables and fruit and exercising, losing weight. Uh, um, there are uh, bugaboos out there, stroke, stroke being one of them, but you lower the risk of having them uh, hit you if you're healthy. Now, you mentioned, um, obviously, that uh, they didn't say word one to you uh, about a stroke. Kind of explain for those who don't know, and I'm sure that's something you're going to be talking about here today, the importance of how quick um, it is when, when you're diagnosed with a stroke, how important and how quick it is, uh, how small the window is for treatment right away. Well, the window uh, to uh, mitigate the damage that a stroke can uh, cause is around three hours. Uh, um, I always say err on the side of caution. Uh, uh, sometimes in the middle of the night people will not feel quite, quite right and they're embarrassed to go uh, have it checked out. Uh, I always say uh, be embarrassed. Uh, you don't want a stroke. You don't want that. Uh, um, that is serious, that is life-threatening, that is a long recovery. So um, they may, the doctor may say you're fine and nothing is wrong, but he may say good you got here and here's the, uh, the drug that can uh, uh, lower uh, the damage. And so um, always err on the side of uh, uh, doing just that. Absolutely, I agree with you on that. Now, uh, I know you're a very big family man. Kind of tell us a little bit, how much has your family, how big of a part has your road to recovery been and how much have you leaned on, I know, how much have you leaned on your family to get you where you are today? Well, um, stroke survivors uh, know about uh, this phrase, the caregiver, the person who uh, um, helps you along, their tanto to your lone ranger, as it were, and mine was my wife is my wife, Denise. And uh, when I was uh, doing therapy, I did therapy for a year, a whole year. Um, I live in Winter Springs. And coming into Orlando, she would, I have twins. They're now six. They were two back then, one, two. And uh, so she had to load them up, then go get me, and then drive 20 miles into Orlando. And I had three hours of rehab Monday through Friday. So she had to figure out what to do for three hours. But um, she has been uh, a guiding line. Uh, she is also my sister's best friend. I've known her for 
35 years. Uh, but uh, as her mother says, remember, Denise, excuse me, Denise has never gone through this before. But uh, she was right there, and she still is right there.